History Month is brought to you by Calvin Smith Law, the injury lawyers, and by This Is It, Southern Kitchen and Barbecue, real food for real people. Supporting black-owned businesses is especially important in historically black communities on Atlanta's west side, but funding can often be by. That's where a special nonprofit comes in, helping prop up black-owned businesses that have been hit hard by the pandemic. So this is the quesadilla right here. At Local Green on Atlanta's west side. Definitely get this. Healthy is a high priority. We have air fryer fries. We only air fry our fries. We, do, we, we don't have a deep fryer here. In a community that is a food desert, Zach Wallace wanted to give his neighbors fresh options. It, it woke people up. It started to educate people. You know, people didn't know what a pescatarian was. People was calling it Presbyterian. That is a religion. Has it been a struggle staying afloat? Uh, yes, you know, I mean, you, you have challenges as a small uh, minority on business anyway. Uh, but, you know, COVID just compounded that, right? Uh, it's just saying that when America has the cold, black America has the flu. Some minority businesses are now able to stay afloat through special investment loans. They're from the Westside Future Fund, a nonprofit focused on revitalizing historic, primarily black West Side neighborhoods in need. We're really excited about local business owners contributing to the economy, helping to fuel jobs, and helping to make a difference right here where they've been for so long. This helps me to compete with the wages, you know, that the big, the big guys are coming with and bring people to the community. As a minor, minority owned business and a black woman minority owned business, it's always been very challenging. Those special loans help Yolanda Owens too. We actually cut up aloe and we slice it and we rub your cuticles with this. Her natural day spa, Iwi Fresh, is a one of a kind on Nelson Street. When I grew up on the west side, we didn't have natural choices, our eco choices, our sustainability choices. We didn't have these type of things. So I really want to be that and I have been that. That's my goal and passion is to be that in the community. And then when I have companies or programs like Westside Future Fund that can back me and support me for being that, it really does help. Two very passionate business owners there. And Westside Future Fund is taking in another round of applications for minority owned businesses on the west side. We'll have a link in this story on CBS46.com.